I got dogs and sister home from Georgia here. Kim Protasevich is loading up before locking back down. Her home is an in index and it's under a mandatory evacuation order, but she's not leaving. It's our home. We want to stay and protect it, just like there's a few other people that are doing the same thing. You know, if our house is going to burn, we're going to watch it burn, I guess. <laughs> the Bolt Creek fire holding its ground, claiming some 8,000 acres over a hot, dry weekend. Monday, schools are closed and residents are hoping relief will come soon. We did get prepared. We did. And we've been keeping sprinklers going, hoses going. So we had a lot of debris coming down the other day. So we've kept an eye on that. Maggie Buck lives in Gold Bar, right on the line of evacuations. She's ready to counter should the fire decide to jab. We just pack up the most important stuff and just leave the rest to, to chance. If it goes, it goes. We got our lives, we got our dog. Um, that's most important things. Everything else can be recovered after that. While crews work to contain the wildfire, those who live near the fire say they'll remain ready to go until the final flame is out. But Perhaps a bright spot in all this is so many people have dropped off supplies that the county no longer wants people showing up with donations in, per on, in person as they work to keep roads clear for first responders. Near Goldbar, Sebastian Robertson, King 5 News.